Hey guys, happy new year. It is 3.08 on Saturday morning. I can't sleep. This toothache that I have is keeping me awake. So what do you do when you can't sleep? You knit. I'm working on a blanket for myself. And have Disney Plus on in the background. So, I've tried to go to sleep. I just can't sleep. I don't know if you can tell. It does look swollen. This side here hurts. And I'm thinking it's the nerves pressuring, pushing up on my tooth. And I've tried everything I can think of to get it to go away. Ice pack, numbing gel, toothache mouthwash, brushing my teeth multiple times a day. Nothing is working. So, yeah. I hope everyone had a fun, safe New Year's Eve. I stayed in. So, but, yeah, I will probably read later today, and if I do, I'll definitely update you guys. So this is going to be like a little weekend vlog, so, we'll see if I end up reading, so, but, yeah, I'm going to go, and I will update you guys a lot later. Hey guys, I don't know why my room is so dark. Um, but. Okay, there we go. But. If I still look like I'm in pain, because I still am, this toothache is still here. Um, so. I. Don't know how to get rid of it, so. We'll see what it do what happens. The next step is finding a dentist. Because that will take my insurance. So. There's that. But. I did. Start. A Pitch of Magic. By Michelle Harrison. I'm really enjoying this so far. I'm only. Three chapters in. I'm on page 40. And it's really interesting so far. There is a bit of a curse on an island where three sisters live with their grandmother. And apparently the start of the book, their father is in some sort of prison for something that he did. We don't know what that is yet. But their grandmother gives them... I'm at the part where they get these said gifts. Each has its own power. There's a scruffy carpet bag, a set of wooden nesting dolls, and a glit framed mirror. And all of these have some sort of magical abilities that surround this island that is cursed. And Betty... Betty and her two sisters have to find out what the curse is and break it, I guess. So, it's pretty interesting so far. It's quick. It's middle grade. I'm enjoying it. I'm going to read more of this today. I have it tabbed out. Three sections. So, I should finish this on Tuesday. It depends on how much I read of it today. I'll finish it sooner. But we'll see if I can concentrate on reading today because of the toothache. But other than that, I'm still reading Grace and Glory, which I need to finish. And I'm still reading Assassin's Quest, which I also need to finish. So, but I do hope everyone had a fun, safe New Year's. And I will update you guys later when I've gotten more into 
the story. So I'll update you guys later. Hey guys, it's Monday. Sorry I didn't update last night. It's because I I read yesterday and I was trying to sleep, but my Fitbit says I only got a little over an hour of sleep last night, so I may take a nap later today. So I don't I have bags under my eyes. Wow. Um that tells you the lack of sleep I've been getting with this toothache. It's so annoying, but I did start Pinch of Magic, like I mentioned, and I read 114 pages yesterday. I'm watching Chris's Monday Sprints, and I'm reading it. Hopefully get my mind off this toothache. And I'm on chapter 12, page 144. It's really interesting so far. I'm... I'm enjoying it a lot, so depending on how this goes, I will most likely pick up the, se the second and the third book in this series, so I'm excited to see where it goes. Magic's involved. I just hit myself with the book. And a family, a big family secret, so can't wait to find out what that secret is, so I'm excited. I'm going to read for the rest of this sprint, and I will update you guys when I get to my page tab today. I'll probably read this all day and most likely finish it. But that's the plan. I'm not going anywhere today because it is wet and rainy and cold outside. So, I'm staying in today. And, yeah, I'm going to go. And I'll update you guys later. Hey guys, it's Tuesday. I'm going to end the vlog in a little while, but not right now. I wanted to update saying I read a Christmas story. It's like book eight, but I don't think you have to read them in order. It was free on Kindle, so... It's called A Christmas Cabin. It was really cute. I gave it three stars. And it's... It's about a girl named Harper. And she is a divorce attorney. And she is helping a client who wants to get divorced. So, and then she ends up going on a little trip. She was supposed to go with her aunt because her parents left her when she was younger. It's not a spoiler. It's in the beginning of the book. So, you'll get that. Left her when she was younger and her client's soon-to-be ex has another attorney, divorce attorney, and his name is Gabriel, and he wants their marriage to work. Harper does not believe in second chances. Gabriel believes in second chances, so when they end up going to the same cabin for the Christmas holiday in Tahoe, in Lake Tahoe, um, Harper realizes that things can work if you put your mind to it, just because she had one relationship that didn't work. Um, so I gave this a three stars. It was cute. So will I read it again? Probably not. Like I mentioned, it was free on Kindle, so I picked it up. So it was a cute Christmas holiday read. So, even though it's not Christmas, I read it. Last night, I got to page 280 in A Pinch of Magic. Yes, chapter 20. Like I said before, I'm really enjoying it. So, when I finish this today, I will wrap up the vlog. So, as soon as I finish this, I'm wrapping up this vlog. 
So, I'm enjoying Pinch of Magic. So, it's good. I want book two, which I don't have book two. I need to get book two. But, if you like a fun adventure middle grade that deals with three magical objects, you will like this. So, but I'm going to go, and I will update you guys later. Hey guys, it's much later. It is 8.02 p.m. And I just finished A Pinch of Magic. I really enjoyed this. I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars. I loved it. I want the second book now, but I have to wait. Second read of 2022 down. I'm going to wrap up this reading vlog. I finished two books. I finished The Christmas Cabin, Blanking the Author. It was an ebook, and then which I gave that one three stars. It was cute. And then I finished Pence of Pinch of Magic by Michelle Harrison, and I gave four stars and really enjoyed it. So it was good. So I'm going to wrap up this vlog. Let me know down below what you guys read this week. I would love to know, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.